Section 58 of English Synonyms and Antonyms. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Estelle Jobson. English Synonyms and Antonyms by James Champlin Fernald. From Send to Shake. Send. Synonyms. Cast, dart, delegate, depute, dispatch, discharge, dismiss, drive, emit, fling, forward, hurl, impel, lance, launch, project, propel, sling, throw, transmit. To send is to cause to go or pass from one place to another, and always, in fact or thought, away from the agent or agency that controls the act. Send, in its most common use, involves personal agency, without personal presence. According to the adage, if you want your business done, go, if not, send. One sends a letter or a bullet, a messenger or a message. In all the derived uses, the same idea controls. If one sends a ball into his own heart, the action is away from the directing hand, and he is viewed as the passive recipient of his own act. It is with an approach to personification that we speak of the bow sending the arrow, or the gun, the shot. To dispatch is to send hastily or very promptly, ordinarily with a destination in view. To dismiss is to send away from oneself without reference to a destination, as to dismiss a clerk, an application, or an annoying subject. To discharge is to send away so as to relieve a person or thing of a load. We discharge a gun, or discharge the contents, as applied to persons, Discharge is a harsher term than dismiss. To emit is to send forth from within, with no reference to a destination, as the sun emits light and heat. Transmit from the Latin is a dignified term, often less vigorous than the Saxon send, but preferable at times in literary or scientific use, as to transmit the crown or the feud from generation to generation. To transmit a charge of electricity, transmit fixes the attention more on the intervening agency as send does upon the points of departure and destination. Antonyms Bring, carry, convey, get, give, hand, hold, keep, receive, retain. Prepositions To send from the hand to or toward, rarely at, a mark. Send to a friend by a messenger or by mail. Send a person into banishment, send a shell among the enemy. Sensation Synonyms Emotion, feeling, perception, sense. Sensation is the mind's consciousness due to a bodily affection, as of heat or cold. Perception is the cognition of some external object which is the cause or occasion of the sensation. The sensation of heat may be connected with the perception of a fire. While sensations are connected with the body, emotions, as joy, grief, etc., are wholly of the mind. As the most of them, the sensations, are positively agreeable, or the opposite, they are nearly akin to those emotions, as hope or terror, or those passions, as anger and envy, which are acknowledged by all to belong exclusively to the spirit, and to involve no relation whatever to matter or the bodily organism. Such feelings are not infrequently styled sensations, though improperly. Porter, Human Intellect, Section 112, page 128. Section 90. Feeling is a general term popularly denoting what is felt, whether through the body or by the mind alone, and includes both sensation and emotion. A sense is an organ or faculty of sensation or of perception. Sensibility. Synonyms Feeling, impressibility, sensitiveness, susceptibility. Sensibility in the philosophical sense denotes the capacity of emotion or feeling as distinguished from the intellect and the will. Compare synonyms for sensation. In popular use, sensibility denotes sometimes capacity of feeling of any kind as sensibility to heat or cold, sometimes a peculiar readiness to be the subject of feeling especially of the higher feelings, as the sensibility of the artist or the poet. A person of great or fine sensibility 
Sensitiveness denotes an especial delicacy of sensibility, ready to be excited by the slightest cause, as displayed, for instance, in the sensitive plant. Susceptibility is rather a capacity to take up, receive, and, as it were, to contain feeling, so that a person of great susceptibility is capable of being not only readily, but deeply moved. Sensitiveness is more superficial, susceptibility more pervading. Thus, in physics, the sensitiveness of a magnetic needle is the ease with which it may be deflected, as by another magnet. Its susceptibility is the degree to which it can be magnetized by a given magnetic force, or the amount of magnetism it will hold. So, a person of great sensitiveness is quickly and keenly affected by any external influence, as by music, pathos, or ridicule, while a person of great susceptibility is not only touched, but moved to his inmost soul. Antonyms Coldness, deadness, hardness, insensibility, numbness, unconsciousness. Prepositions The sensibility of the organism to atmospheric changes. Severe Synonyms Austere, hard, harsh, inexorable, inflexible, morose. Relentless, rigid, rigorous, stern, stiff, strict, uncompromising, unmitigated, unrelenting, unyielding. That is severe which is devoid of all softness, mildness, tenderness, indulgence, or levity, or in literature and art devoid of unnecessary ornament, amplification, or embellishment of any kind, as a severe style, as said of anything painful. Severe signifies such as heavily taxes endurance or resisting power, as a severe pain, fever, or winter. Rigid signifies primarily stiff, resisting any effort to change its shape. A corpse is said to be rigid in death. Hence, in metaphorical sense, a rigid person or character is one that resists all efforts to change the will or course of conduct. A rigid rule or statement is one that admits of no deviation. Rigorous is nearly akin to rigid, but is a stronger word, having reference to action or active qualities, as rigid does to state or character. A rigid rule may be rigorously enforced. Strict, Latin stringo, bind, signifies bound, or stretched tight, tense, strenuously exact. Stern unites harshness and authority with strictness or severity. Stern, as said even of inanimate objects, suggests something authoritative or forbidding. Austere signifies severely simple or temperate, strict in self-restraint or discipline, and similarly unrelenting toward others. We speak of austere morality, rigid rules, rigorous discipline, stern commands, severe punishment, harsh speech, or a harsh voice, hard requirements, strict injunctions, and strict obedience. Strict discipline holds one exactly and unflinchingly to the rule. Rigorous discipline punishes severely any infraction of it. The austere character is seldom lovely, but it is always strong and may be grand, commanding, and estimable. Antonyms Affable, bland, easy, genial, gentle, indulgent, lenient, mild, pliable, soft, sweet, tender, tractable, yielding. Shake. Synonyms. Agitate, brandish, flap, fluctuate, flutter, jar, joggle, jolt, jounce, oscillate, quake, quaver, quiver, Real rock, shiver, shudder, sway, swing, thrill, totter, tremble, vibrate, wave, waver. A thing is shaken which is subjected to short and abruptly checked movements, as forward and backward, up and down, from side to side, etc. A tree is shaken with a mighty wind. A man slowly shakes his head. A thing rocks that is sustained from below. It swings, if suspended from above, as a pendulum, or pivoted at the side as a crane, or a bridge draw, 
To _oscillate_ is to _swing_ with a smooth and regular returning motion; a vibrating motion may be tremulous or jarring. The _pendulum_ of a clock may be said to _swing_, _vibrate_, or _oscillate_; a steel bridge _vibrates_ under the passage of a heavy train; the term _vibrate_ is also applied to molecular movements. _Jolting_ is a lifting from and letting down suddenly upon an unyielding surface; as, a carriage _jolts_ over a rough road. A _jarring_ motion is abruptly and very rapidly repeated through an exceedingly limited space; the _jolting_ of the carriage _jars_ the window. _Rattling_ refers directly to the sound produced by shaking; to _joggle_ is to shake slightly; as, a passing touch _joggles_ the desk on which one is writing. A thing _trembles_ that shakes perceptibly and with an appearance of uncertainty and instability, as a person under the influence of fear; a thing _shivers_ when all its particles are stirred with a slight but pervading tremulous motion, as a human body under the influence of cold. _Shuddering_ is a more pronounced movement of a similar kind; in human beings often the effect of emotional or moral recoil; hence the word is applied by extension to such feelings even when they have no such outward manifestation; as, one says, I _shudder_ at the thought. To _quiver_ is to have slight and often spasmodic contractile motions, as the flesh under the surgeon's knife. _Thrill_ is applied to a pervasive movement felt rather than seen, as the nerves _thrill_ with delight; _quiver_ is similarly used, but suggests somewhat more of an outward manifestation. To _agitate_, in its literal use, is nearly the same as to _shake_, tho we speak of the sea as _agitated_ when we could not say it is _shaken_. The Latin _agitate_ is preferred in scientific or technical use to the Saxon _shake_, and especially as applied to the action of mechanical contrivances. In the metaphorical use, _agitate_ is more transitory and superficial, _shake_ more fundamental and enduring. A person's feelings are _agitated_ by distressing news; his courage, his faith, his credit, or his testimony is _shaken_. _Sway_ applies to the movement of a body suspended from above, or not firmly sustained from below, and the motion of which is less pronounced than _swinging_, smoother than _vibrating_, and not necessarily constant, as _oscillating_, as the _swaying_ of a reed in the wind. _Sway_, used transitively, especially applies to motions of grace or dignity. _Brandish_ denotes a threatening or hostile motion; a monarch _sways_ the scepter; the ruffian _brandishes_ a club. To _reel_ or _totter_ always implies liability to fall; _reeling_ is more violent than _swaying_. Tottering more irregular. A drunken man reels. We speak of the tottering step of age or infancy. An extended mass which seems to lack solidity or cohesion is said to quake, as a quaking bog. Quaver is applied almost exclusively to tremulous sounds of the human voice. Flap, flutter, and fluctuate refer to wave like movements. Flap generally to such as produce a sharp sound cock flaps his wings, flutter applies to a less pronounced and more irregular motion. A captive bird or a feeble pulse flutters. Compare fluctuate. End of section 58. Recording by Estelle Jobson, Rome, Italy.